kind of right, right here in the middle. I, a couple of things real quick. What was it about that offense in the second half that just kind of kind of took off for you guys? What were you guys talking about? What was important for you guys to do there in that second half? Yeah. And then the second thing is if you can if you can address it. People talked a lot about Heisman moments. Does this feel like your potential Heisman moment today? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, in the second second half, going into the second half, we knew we was going to have to uh, start fast. <clears throat> uh, Coach Tuck, Coach Tuck made it apparent. Uh, he does a great job of keeping us going and intense. So when we came on the second half, we knew we was gonna have to do that. And uh, overall, I just I don't feel like it's a Heisman moment, but I feel like it was just a great team win. In the back. How are you feeling? Five touchdowns, huge win at home, rival. How do you feel right now? Um, I'm super excited. You know, I'm holding in right now, but I'm super excited. Well, let it out a little bit. We can nah. see your smile there. <laughs> I'm a bit shy. <laughs> uh, can I over here, can you just share uh, what you thought of your first Michigan-Michigan State game, and what's the significance of winning this game for this team this year? Uh, I believe it was, it was a crazy game, super intense. Uh, fans came out. Uh, and what was the second part of the question? I'm sorry. The significance of this win. Yeah, I believe it's very important. Um, you know, we watched, like, even during the bye week, we watched a lot of history on the game. I didn't know much at the time, but when I was able to see the history of it and uh, the alumni was able to talk to us, it meant that much more. Yeah, Kenneth, the uh, coach keeps talking about chopping, but when you're down 30 to 14, that's a lot of wood. What were you thinking at that point, 16 down? I just knew, uh, you know, keep chopping. Um, you know, we go over it every practice, every game. That's, that's our motto, to keep chopping. So I knew that, that was going to be what we had to do. Chris? Kind of, uh, those last two touchdown runs in particular, it seemed like you were going over the right side. What was it that you saw on that right side that, that made it optimal for you? And kind of walk us through what your vision is as you're seeing those holes open up and you start heading towards the end zone. Yeah, um, I just got to get credit to the O-line. They did a great job tonight. Um, you know, that's how the play was called up. And I hit my read key. And they blocked it how it should have been blocked. And for you, the emotion and what, you, what you're seeing as, as you're getting to the end zone? What am I seeing? Yeah. At, like, like how, how was the feeling as you know you're getting touched out? Oh, it's, it's super exciting, you know. Um, it's just an exciting feeling. Mitch on the far side. Yeah, Kenneth, can, um, when you first got here, what did you know about the Michigan Michigan State rivalry? And when you were growing up, what were the rivalries? that you were into or even awake that you were into before you got here? Uh, when I first got here, I didn't know much about this rivalry at all. But like I said, during the bye week, we went over a lot of things and we watched a lot of you know, uh, videos on alumni and past games. And uh, that's when I found out this, this was a big um, rivalry. And when I was younger, uh, I, didn't, I didn't watch much football, so I don't know much about a lot of rivals. Hey, Kenneth, in the back over here. The uh, first one, can you kind of describe what you saw in that touchdown play? It looked like you got stopped at the middle, bounced out to your left, and then what happened with the ball going across uh, the goal line there? Yeah, uh, I knew I just had to press it in my read key, and I saw it kind of closed up. When I looked to my left, Connor had it, did a good job of uh, containing that defensive end, and when I went in the uh, end zone, I should have just handed it to the ref. That was, that was just it. Uh, Kenneth, I was going to ask about the same thing. What's it like waiting through that review, though, to, to know that the, the, court, the touchdown's confirmed? Oh, my heart stopped. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of nervous. <laughs> uh, Kenneth, congratulations. There was a time there late in the third quarter, going to the fourth quarter, where you guys were throwing it so much, and some you know, fans are going, why aren't we running with, with Kenneth? When, did you know your time was coming? What was the feeling for yourself not touching the ball for that extended period of time? Um, you know, I don't. I didn't really have a feeling. I just was doing my job in the uh, pass protection. Um, but if the, uh, Coach Johnson felt like he's seen something open, then I agree with that. Uh, Kenneth, when, uh, when you were, when you were uh, deciding where to go play this year, what was it about Coach Tucker that made you say, I'm going to come all the way up here and be a part of this? Yeah, um, so before I talked to Coach Tucker, I talked to Coach Johnson, Coach Pease, and uh, Coach Cap. And uh, I got the chance to see the offense. And then uh, after that, I ended up talking to Coach Tuck, and we had a great talk. And uh, he told me about the culture and how he's changing around. And that's what really caught me. You've, you've mentioned a couple of times about what you watched 
about the history during the off week. What do you remember? I mean, what did you take away? Or were there moments that captured you? Anything that you remember? Yeah, uh, the biggest one was the um, the punt. You know, he um, fumbled the punt, and we ended up uh, scooping and scoring it. I think that was that was one of the best ones that I saw, honestly. You had not seen that before last year. Oh uh, no. Nicole. Uh, over to Black. Uh, Kenneth, just following up on when you were talking about what the coaches, you know, what you we saw when you talked to them about coming here, when you said when you learned about their offense, what was it about the scheme that you felt like your skill set worked well? Yeah, um, I felt like I was able to show my skills, like catching out of the backfield um, and, you know, uh, going downhill, like at a faster pace, and I felt comfortable with that. Chris? Uh, you guys are 8-0. No. You go to Purdue next week. Um, coming into this, you know, when, when you got here, did you expect to have this kind of run uh, this deep into the season? And what are the, do you reassess the goals at this point, or is this the trajectory you guys felt you would always be on? Um, yeah, I knew we worked hard in the uh, off season, so I believe in the team 100 percent and the goals. Uh, the goal is just to never get satisfied and continue to work hard. Pat, on the up to your left here. Uh, where did you get the ability to start, stop, change directions? Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, I believe it was a God-given ability. And, um, you know, my dad took the time out when I was younger to work with me uh, day in and day out, and I thank him for that. Kenneth, I know there's no way to match the emotions you're feeling right now, but your former team, Wake Forest, is undefeated too. Do you ever think, like, what it would have been like to, to be there or – did you ever think about that? No, I, I don't, but I am proud of them. You know, I still I got close friends there, and I, I congratulate them just like they congratulate me, and I'm happy for them. Is it just some of that Kenneth Walker magic rubbing off on them everywhere you go? <laughs> nah, <laughs> that's all them. <laughs> Kenneth, coming into the week, what were your thoughts and motivation knowing that you were going up against one of the top Russian defenses in the nation? Yeah, uh, I believe I just um, had to trust the offense. And uh, what we were going over, you know, the coaches talked about uh, being ready and prepared, and uh, I believe we were prepared for this game. Back here, real quick. When you were facing this game, in your mind, did you visualize, how did you visualize it? Did you think that you needed to have a big game like this in order for your team to come on top? Uh, honestly, no, I just felt like we had to do um, – we had to come out here and execute what we practice every day. And I, th I believe that was um, what was going to bring us a win. All right, we'll do two more. Ivan and Steven. Kenneth, you, you said a couple of times you didn't watch much college football growing up. What, what captured your attention in those days? What captured my attention when I was younger? What did you do growing up that you weren't watching college football? Uh, I was playing it so much, uh, I, I don't know. My dad used to, he was really into college. and. Uh, you know, NFL, but I was always playing sports. So when I was young, I didn't know much about uh, watching TV at all. <laughs> Kenneth, right here in the front. Um, you guys haven't played from a lot of deficits this year on the scoreboard, and I'm wondering uh, what sort of discussions were, were happening at halftime or just what you thought offensively the keys were to, to up that production in the second half and, and obviously come back. Yeah, I just felt like we just had to continue to fight. You know, that's what Coach Tuck came in there and told us. And uh, I believe that's what we did, and we uh, came out with the win. All right. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you.